This video is offered to give you an introduction to the world's only fire-safe isolating gasket and will explain the reasons for its creation, its construction, and how the system performed in the API6FB fire test. We will also briefly describe the correct installation procedure for this product. The creation of the VCFS was driven by the demands of our customers who needed to electrically isolate their flanges but were worried about the performance of non-metallic components in the event of a fire. This was especially a concern in the offshore market where the consequences of a fire on platforms are very hazardous and costly. Additionally, the needs of users in piping and LNG applications, where the risk of a fire would greatly threaten life and property, drove the need for an electrical isolation gasket that is fire safe per API 6 FB. Development of the patented VCFS took over three years in overcoming the many challenges involved. One major challenge was how to maintain bolt load during the event of a fire. This involved addressing the gasket itself as well as the isolating washers. Extensive testing led to the use of a hardened ink canal E-ring to perform the secondary sealing after the PTFE seal had been melted by the fire. However, the E-ring compression was quite critical and had to be mitigated to prevent excessive compression during the burn. This led to use of the backup ring to precisely manage E-ring compression. Another problem was that as metallic elements, neither the E-ring nor the backup ring provided the required isolation properties. The solution was to employ a dielectric coating that would isolate and withstand compression of the flanges. The result was a formulation of the proprietary X37 coating, which performed admirably during testing and provided isolation even after three bolt-up operations to full torque levels. The next challenge came due to the fact that standard GRE washers degraded in a fire and lost bolt load, which resulted in the release of media in a fire. This led to the development of tandem hardened coated steel washers that electrically isolate yet retain bolt load in a fire. The combination of these elements created a system that would both electrically isolate the flanges and pass the API 6FB fire test. The API 6FB test requires that any sealing in connection hold for 30 minutes in a flame condition and then for a 30 to 60 minute cooldown period. After the assembly is cooled to room temperature, the line is depressurized and then repressurized. During all facets of the test, the gasket must not exceed an API prescribed leakage rate. Matt Wisluski of Yarmouth Research will now explain the test setup and data acquisition system. There are a total of six calorimeter blocks used for the size flange, uh, four evenly spaced around the flange, and two splitting the gap of the flange in the front. There's going to be two torches underneath the heat the valve from underneath. All the temperatures and pressures are monitored and recorded on our data acquisition system. The downstream pipe is capped closed. So the upstream side of the pipe has two connections. One is just a vent line. Um, in case of an overpressure situation, water can be released. Um, the water coming into the pipe is done through this uh, steam trap. Pressure for this test, uh, we're using air over water pressure system. I have two pressure tanks, one's just for an air buffer. Water volume is measured by a differential pressure transducer, measuring the height of the water. Um, in the tank and it's calibrated to milliliters. Here is the beginning of the burn sequence. The water quench. And finally, a graduated cylinder displaying the minimal leakage that occurred during the test, well below the allowable. Shown here is a temperature versus time graph demonstrating what occurred during the test. It shows the temperature of the flame and the average temperature of the calorimeter blocks for the duration of the test. The flame reached temperatures greater than 1600 degrees Fahrenheit, and the calorimeter blocks reached temperatures close to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit all in accordance with the test parameters. 
Next is a pressure versus time graph for the test. The pressure remained constant throughout, adhering to the conditions of the test. The final report shows results for each test phase. Burn and cool down test. Was the leakage below the allowable? Yes. Depressurization, repressurization test. Was the leakage below the allowable? Yes. Does the gasket pass or fail API 6FB? Pass. In summary, the VCFS gasket is a high-pressure, high-reliability, electrically isolating gasket that is based upon the proven Picotech VCS platform, provides complete flange electrical isolation, has tandem seal technology, where the primary seal system has a 20-plus year successful track record. The secondary seal system is for fire-safe applications and as a backup seal. Passed the API 6FB 3rd edition fire test. Is used in conjunction with cathodic protection systems. Mitigates potential flange rotation by reducing flange stress. And provides a tighter seal under low bolt loads. The most important part to attaining ultimate performance is proper installation. The installation of a VCFS gasket should follow the procedure outlined herein. Position the flange faces in close proximity to one another. Insert the sleeves and studs on one half of the flange to support the gasket and provide proper seal placement and gasket alignment. Use two HCS washers per nut and one nut per side. Finger tighten the nuts on these lower studs to remove as much free play as allowable. Slide the VCFS gasket in between the flange faces, making sure the protruding seals are not damaged. Observe minimum flange spacing and alignment requirements. Install the remaining sleeves and studs with two HCS washers per nut and one nut per side. Finger tighten the nuts all the way around the flange. The torquing procedure should follow the star pattern. And the correct technique is to apply 30% of the required torque on the first pass, 65% on the second pass, and the final pass should take the torque up to 100% of what is recommended. Check flange isolation. Test flange to flange resistance and then test flange to bolt resistance for multiple evenly spaced bolts. The very critical FireSafe gasket is the world's only FireSafe electrically isolating gasket. It is unique in that it retains all the properties and extensive service history of the Picotech BCS gasket, but also preserves bolt load and can retain the media during a pipeline fire.